Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm um, Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to install an Apache web server on your Raspberry Pi. So I got my Raspberry Pi here. I'm gonna assume that you already have an operating system loaded on here, whether that's uh, Raspberry Pi OS or Ubuntu. Um, if that's not the case, I have videos on this channel that'll teach you how to do just that, as well as um, enabling SSH. So go ahead and check those out if you're not ready to go. Uh, when you are, we can go ahead and get started with the tutorial here. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is to log in via SSH to my Raspberry Pi with the SSH Pi, which is my username, at the IP address. So I can hit enter, and I'll type the, the default password is Raspberry. And that'll log us into our Raspberry Pi. Now, the first thing, which is always a good practice to do uh, when installing software, is to do a sudo apt, S-U-D-O, apt, um, update, which is going to make sure that you have the latest list of software packages uh, on your machine. And it looks like everything's up to date for me. So after that, you want to do a sudo apt upgrade. And this will go out and actually uh, update those packages if they need to be updated. As you can see, um, everything is already up to date for us. So the next thing we want to do is to do... Um, actually, we're going to install Apache at this point. So we can do that similarly with sudo apt install apache2 hit enter this um this is going to take 7400 kilobytes of additional disk disk space and this will take probably a minute or two to install so rather than having you sit here and watch this install i'll pause the video and catch up with you when it finishes all right, guys, that's all finished. We have Apache on our web server, and we can verify that it's running right now with the system CTL command, and we can do a status of Apache 2, and you'll see that Apache 2 is active and running. Now, um, the, the default configuration file for Apache is located at the etc Apache 2 uh, sites available, directory and then in here there's a file called 000-default.conf. So let's just take a look at that right now. Oh, and that's right, I don't have um, this text editor. Uh, a text editor that you can use to look at some of these files is either nano or uh, vim or the, the default package that's installed is vi. So I'm gonna use vi in this case. And uh, it's a read-only file, that's okay. Uh, we just want to look at a couple of things here. So the one thing in particular is the document root. This is the root of your website. And actually, um, as you'll see in just a couple seconds, there is um, some default website files here. So let's go to that directory, cd var www html, and we'll do an ls in here to see what's actually in here. We have an index.html file. So let's actually open up a web browser and navigate to the IP address of a Raspberry Pi, which is 192.168.0.136. And we'll see the default uh, landing page for our Apache website, which is really cool because right out of the box, we just issued that one command to install the web server and we already have a web page running and loaded. So uh, we'll take it a step further. We'll do some customization. I'm gonna minimize this just for a second and um, what I find is that it's uh, much easier to work with the files in here. Let's just, I wanna do an ls-la to show you that root, the root user owns all of these files. And, and you know, we've been typing sudo in front of all of our commands so far. It's a lot easier if you just change the ownership of um, this directory to the pi user, like pi, the pi user um, in this case. So let's go ahead and do that. We can do that with uh, sudo chown for change ownership. Um, we're gonna assign it to the pi user and the pi group. And we want to do that for this directory right here, the HTML directory. And we will, um, let's just get rid of this index file. Uh, we might have to, yeah. So this is just an empty uh, root directory of our website right now. We'll make a new index file and put our own content in right now. So we can do, we can use our text editor vi to make a new index file, index.html. And in here we will, I'll just copy and paste some code for, um, for you know, a basic website page. And that's gonna look something like this. You can do whatever you want. I have, uh, I'll have all of this code linked in the description below if you want to uh, copy and paste it and use it as is. 
Um, otherwise, you can put any content in here that you would like. So I'll save this file. And now if we open up our web browser, refresh the page for our IP address, you'll see that it says now, welcome to my Raspberry Pi. And then it says, hello world, this website is being served from Apache on my Raspberry Pi. So that's some basic, a basic text website. Let's throw an image in here. So um, I actually, let's keep that web browser open. At this URL, um, I figured this out beforehand, there is the logo for the Raspberry Pi um, Raspberry. And if we copy this logo, uh, the, the URL to the logo, we can open up our terminal window again and uh, download that image onto our Raspberry Pi so we can serve it on the web page. And we can do that with the wget command and the path to the image file. So wget is just gonna simply download that image onto our uh, Raspberry Pi. And we can hit enter and then do an ls and you'll see now that we have that um, image on our Raspberry Pi. So let's go ahead and serve it as part of our web page. So we can edit our index.html file. And uh, just before the end of the HTML body, let's add another line in here and it'll look something like this. So, whoops. I am hitting too many buttons. <laughs> okay, so um, we have, uh, we're adding an image tag in here. Um, the source of the image is going to be that, that Raspberry Pi image that we just downloaded and it's gonna be 500 pixels wide. So let's go ahead and save that file and exit out and then open up the web browser again. We'll get out of here because we don't need it anymore and then refresh the page. So we should see the image pop up and there you go. We see a nice big Raspberry Pi image pop up here. Now there's a lot of different ways we can go with um, creating an actual website on our Raspberry Pi. So if you wanna check out some of the ideas that I have in mind at this point about how to proceed with making a you know fully fledged website on your Raspberry Pi, check out some of these videos over here which will help you in that right direction. So um, guys, if you've got any value of this video, give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing to this channel, and if you do, I'll see you in the next video.